everyone, it's me Sherry. Welcome back to my channel. So, as you have may noticed that I took a little bit of a break. It was kind of rainy through the whole month of May and I just wasn't very motivated. Today's the sun is shining. I woke up all like happy and fresh and I want to get back to this. So, I'm going to start a series on my channel. This is going to be the first one. We'll get into what the video is about in a minute, although you can probably see it from the title. Um, this It's going to be Jazz It Up June. Hashtag Jazz It Up June. So... I'm going to do a video every second day in June, starting today, June 1st, and there will be a video up every second day, so from the 1st till the 29th, 15 videos. If you guys have any video requests for me, leave them down below because I will definitely do that. I'm also going to be doing a question and answer video probably closer to the end, so if you have any questions for me, leave those down below as well so that I can put them in the Q&A video. So as you can see from the title, today's video is actually going to be a current favorites. Now I don't do monthly favorites. I gave up doing that a while ago because I just don't really buy enough like I know a lot of youtubers the, like the bigger ones they'll get PR or they'll be out buying more I don't buy makeup like all the time so I don't always have newer stuff to review other than like some boxycharm stuff like those are some newer products because there are some boxycharm products in here there's actually yeah there's like four out of the five from last month so but I'm not going to go into too much detail with them because I'll review them in my BoxyCharm video when I talk about the new products versus last month's products so I'm not going to go into too much detail with them but uh, in the month of May I was also on a makeup no buy and I'm happy to report that it is like the 28th of May wait it's not the 28th it's the 29th of May and I haven't bought one single item of makeup so I I passed my no buy because chances are I'm not going to buy anything in the next two days so um I know I won't actually um so the only thing that I got this month new was my boxy charm items so without further ado I'm just going to hop into it so if you want to see what my favorites are currently then stay tuned for the video so as I said I was on a makeup no buy so a lot of these are rediscover products in my collection because I also do a shop my stash sort of thing where I make a monthly makeup drawer and I shop my stash and I put the items in that top drawer for items that I'm going to use for the month and there's some that I got a lot of good use out of and then I used um, some of my boxy charm items that I added into it that I wanted to use for the month as well so I would know when it was time to review them for you guys when I got June's boxy charm so let's just jump in I guess so the first product that I have actually came from BoxyCharm, but this was a couple months ago. This is the um, Project Beauty Hair Girt Strawberry Banana Shampoo. I washed my hair with this today. It just makes my hair like so oh, sleek and nice looking. I love it. It has um, probiotics, quinoa, and super botanicals for beautiful hair sulfate free and paraben free so a lot of good stuff i think you can buy this on amazon it's only like ten dollars too but it's like this is only like a hundred and fifty a hundred and eighteen milliliters i know a lot of canadians go by milliliters um if you're in the states it's four fluid ounces yeah so it's not like huge but you don't really need a lot either so i've really been enjoying this the next product that i have is a perfume and it's vera wang's princess i got this a while ago from huber for valentine's day like a few years ago still smells good if there's nothing wrong with it i keep my perfume i preserve it in um darker cooler places just so it would last longer but this is like what i've been wearing for most of the month of uh may but it's probably time to switch over to something a little more light because the summer months are coming so i've really been enjoying that um the next product that i have is the hard candy fast and fabulous makeup setting spray i switched from well i didn't switch but I, instead of getting the hard candy this one has a milliliter no it has like several milliliters more like almost 20 milliliters more i think it's 19 milliliters more than the hard candy one and it's only a dollar more so i decided to try this because a few people that i talked to on youtube like this one better than the um wet and wild one so and hard candy is cruelty free in case anybody's interested and you can get it at walmart so if you're looking for a drugstore one this one i've had no problems with it so the real test will be in the summer when it gets really hot out I have a couple of tools. Both of them came from BoxyCharm um, last month in May. Well, this month in May. One is this Brow Gal product. I know it's just 
it's a brush it's a brow brush and then a spoolie on the other end and I know you can get these from any brand you could probably even get it at Walmart but I've been just using it a lot so I thought it deserved a little mention and then the other one is this crown brush that we got it has the little cover for it mine doesn't never want to go on right though I don't know why um and it's like the artiste kind of brushes i really do like this for like putting on my um contour and stuff i didn't use it today i used a different one um i never used this one for foundation yet but i use this type of brush for foundation this one's bigger so i'm sure it would like blend out my foundation in no problem i really do like it for contouring so i'll run my contour down my face and then i'll kind of just buff it in and i really do like it for that so that's what i've been using it for Alright, so I might as well talk about the two products that go with those two brushes. So from the Brow Gal, we got this convertible brow, and I've been using it. I never fill in my brows, so I kind of ventured off this month and decided to start using it. So it's for brunettes, so it's perfect for me, and there's what the colors look like. And I, I mean, I can't say that I used it a ton because it's only been a month, but this is what I've been going to when I do my makeup and I want to do my brows, so liking that and then this product I really like this is the highlight and contour palette by IBY Beauty it looks like this it has a little quote on there too it said inspired by you on the mirror but um, I really like these these powders are super soft I use these for setting under my eyes sometimes because they are highlights but they're not like a shiny highlight they're more like a powder and they're super soft although that one has that one has a little bit of hard pan on it oh my god this one is like super duper soft um, and then these contour shades are lighter, so they're actually perfect for my skin tone. So I've been using that a lot. I'm actually wearing this as my bronzer today. Not a contour, just bronzing. So, yeah. I kind of, I have like a contour over top of it, so I kind of went a little crazy with my contour and highlights. So if I look crazy, sorry. Um, the next product that I have is also um, a face product, and it's from Too Faced, and it's this little peach blush. Um, I tend to go more towards peaches in the summertime and spring. This is called Love Hangover. And it looks like that. Oh, there we go. And I'll do a little swatchy swatch for you guys. There. It looks kind of powdery when you swatch it, but when you put it on your face, it, it works good. So there's what that looks like. I really like that blush. And then... For a foundation, I've been wearing, most of the time, like today I'm wearing a product that I'm trying to use up by summer. Um, it's the, the Velvet, Dream Velvet Hydrating Matte Foundation from Maybelline. That's what I'm wearing today, but mo majority of the month I was using the um, Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, and I really love this. Really love it. I got complimented a few times when I was wearing this. Somebody, a couple people asked me what I was wearing on my skin. For eyeshadow, I put two eyeshadow palettes in my um, drawer for like everyday use. I'm wearing the other one today, which is the Urban Decay one, and I wore it a couple of days ago. And I don't know if I love that palette. It's the Shadow Box from Urban Decay. I just find the pigmentation doesn't seem to be there on it. But a palette that I have been loving this month is my Peach Palette. I have dipped into a few of these colors, like um, Peaches and Cream down here. That's well loved. I use that for setting um, and just like some of these like blushes and like these browns down here. Like I've just been really, and I love the smell. If you don't like that peach smell then you won't like this, but I've been liking it. But yeah, I've been really loving my peach palette lately. And then for lip products I have three here. For kind of like an everyday I use this balm crayon from... Baby Lips, and this is in Blush Burst, I think it's called. This is just easy. Easy peasy lip. Yeah, Blush Burst. It's hydrating, and it's just, like I said, it's easy for everyday use. It's a pretty color. Looks like that, and it has pretty good pigmentation on it. That's one swipe there. Obviously, it's this one because it's shiny, right? So, this is, like, perfect for everyday wear, and it's, like, the perfect summery color, too. And then I have two lip glosses, and I got both of these from um, BoxyCharm, actually, from different ones. See, I really have a chance... When you're on a no-buy, you really have a chance to get back into your collection and, like, use stuff. Like, some of these BoxyCharm products I might have... Oh no, one is from BoxyCharm, I'm sorry, the other one is from ColourPop. But you really get a chance to use those products from BoxyCharm or products that you might have bought and kind of just put in your collection and 
may have overlooked. So the first product that I got is this Allegory Story lip gloss. This smells incredible. It smells like cupcakes. And this is in Play-Doh's Cave. And it looks like a poopy color brown. But when you put it on your lips, it's really pretty. And can we just take a moment for that packaging because it's really pretty. And then this is the Kathleen Lights in Aquarius. I got the set and this is the ultra glossy lip and I really like this. This is like your perfect nude glossy lip. So that is everything that I've been enjoying. Um, as far as TV shows and movies and whatnot, um, I watched, the only really movie that I really watched other than old school movies from like the past is uh, Before I Fall. That was kind of a good mo movie. It had a good message to it. And then, of course, everybody and their dog for TV shows. I think everybody and their dog was watching 13 Reasons Why. I don't know if that I watched that in April or May, though. But I did watch it recently. And then I also watched um, Young and Hungry with Emily Osmond in it. I watched all of that. Then recently I just watched all of Riverdale. <laughs> so these are some of my favorites that I got into and I kind of just binge watched them. Binge watched them in like a couple days <clears throat> or a day for some of the like one season series. And oh I'm currently watching the Scream TV show. I don't know if that's necessarily a favorite but that's what I'm currently watching. Um, I don't really have any favorite songs or anything for the month and I don't really have a favorite event for the month. So that's everything that I've been loving I shouldn't even say the month for the last little bit. That's everything I've been loving currently. What have you guys been enjoying lately? I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Don't forget to subscribe for some more fun. And I'll talk to you guys on my next video. Bye everyone.